One of the biggest problems across the Highlands and Islands is depopulation. When my children were in the local primary school, there were between 50 and 60 pupils in that school. Today, there are only 14. On the island of Ling to the south of us, the school has recently been closed. On an island of Lismore to the north, there are now only eight pupils in that school. There are similar stories of depopulation right across the Highlands and Islands. If we want to build strong and successful rural communities, there are three main factors. Adequate affordable housing, jobs and social opportunity. Because even if you have a job and a house to live in, you need a bit of a social life. The recent Scottish Planning Bill offers some scope for tackling the shortage of housing in rural areas. And in the wake of the pandemic, we need to make sure that local planning authorities take up that opportunity. Because in a rural community, even six houses can make a big difference. And when the problem is a shortage of houses, the solution is obvious. Build more houses. And in the Highlands and Islands, each new house that's built creates six jobs. So we can literally build our way out of the recession caused by the pandemic. And when local builders have more work, they spend their money in other local businesses and within the local economy. And that, that creates what economists call the multiplier effect, or what Gordon Brown and fancy and pompous language used to de describe as the post-neoclassical endogenous growth theory. I've been a builder in the Highlands and Islands for many years. I'd like to go back into Parliament to help rebuild our economy and our communities. That's why I'm asking you to vote for me, Mike McKenzie, number one for the Highlands and Islands.